everybody's been wondering what old Neil Blancamp is going to be up to. You know, he, everybody, because everybody, all you fanboys out there saying, oh, shit, that District 9 thing, you know, that he did, he can't do no wrong now. Elysium. Elysium. They said, man, they built Elysium up to. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> remember how much, man, we got, we Boy, got. years for that they, shit. Man, they, they, they hyped that they, shit up before he even got behind yeah, the camera. And wait for it. After Prometheus, they're like, Psh, forget from Prometheus. That, yeah. Because because Elysium's going to come out. It's going to show all of y'all. Go see. And also, they had, what's his name in it? Uh, uh, Matt, Matt, Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. is like, yeah. shit, man, how can, man we, how can we lose? Academy Award winner Jodie Foster. Oh, Jodie yeah. Foster, the oh! Jody motherfucking Foster. Oh, man, what the fuck? <laughs> come on. Come on. Shit, print money now. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> and then the shit came out and said, Dude. Elysium? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to that club, man. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know, it was still good. You know, it was, uh, I mean, it was kind of, <laughs> I mean, it was all right. It's all right. <laughs> but anyway, now we got this new movie out. And I think that Neil Blomkamp has managed to find the middle ground of what we liked about uh, 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 District 9 and also the ambitions that he had with Elysium and this takes place in the same environment that he has sort of a worn down South Africa but instead of trying to take on some grand message he centered again on one character a robot a robot that's mm -hmm. you know people just reject it left behind okay until uh, well basically until some South African thugs find his ass and he attempt to make him cool Damn. Okay. <laughs> Sam, I know. Sounds. Yeah. Sounds. And when I heard about this, I thought. I thought, man, this sounds very comedic. But it actually looks like it has more heart than I expected it to have. Let's go ahead and take a look at Chappie. <laughs> the problem with artificial intelligence is it's way too unpredictable. I am Chappie. Wow. You know, it's gonna be a point in that movie where Chappie's gonna say. Keep fucking with me. Yeah. He's being all nice yeah, yeah, right now. Those, those Iron Giant moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him throw that fire on him. He's, he's being nice right now. I'm, I'm, I know this is going to be a point in the movie. He's like, now nah, wait one goddamn minute. Y'all forget I'm a robot. This shit seems like every like dog movie that you saw back in the day when yeah. you were a kid. Except like, it's a no, robot. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. that's, that's why I said that this is kind of a cross between District 9 and Elysium. Because Elysium was a message movie. But yeah. it was a heavy message heavy, heavy. movie. It's like, yeah. damn, man, you know, make a movie. Yeah, drill that shit to my make head a movie or go protest. Right. No shit. Yeah, one or the like, other. Like a ninety minute PSA. <laughs> yeah. Pick it song. We'll pick one. But the thing that worked with uh the thing that worked with District Nine is that District Nine centered centered on one character. I mean, you could talk about maybe two or three characters in the movie, but it was a human character that it centered on, and that was um uh, Charlton Copley. Yeah, it's a, it's, is he the voice of yeah. Chappie? Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's gonna be there somewhere. Has some blackmail on Neil Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> this centers on one character of of Chappie, and Chappie kind of takes the place of like, what if we had followed the aliens? Are one of the aliens more in District Nine right. instead of following the human character, and I think that's what is going to make this work because I do think that this has this is going to have a lot of heart in it. Uh, if he's smart. He'll have those aliens show up, do a crossover. Well, you know what? That I was cool. I, man, I was, I was watching this, and I said, you know something? I mean, if because if you look at Chappie, Chappie got antennas and shit uh -huh. on him. I'm like, damn, look like somebody just slapped an arm on one of the aliens in District <laughs> right? 9 and yeah, made it, it Chappie. But the thing with uh, Neil Blomkamp's movies, man, is that he must hate South Africa. I don't know if he's from South he Africa from or South what, Africa. but he, well, he must hate it there because <laughs> he always makes South Africa look like shit in his yeah. movies. And yes, he does. I yeah, mean, yeah. And, and, and maybe that's because that's how it works. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know. You know, maybe it is because over. I mean, in his movies, it's always looking like the apocalypse is dirty. Oh, yeah. It's always looking run down, and even to his casting in the film, like he. Uh, one of the highlights of this movie that people have been talking about is that he cast a rap duo in here, a South African rap duo called uh, Die Answorth. Saw them at uh, a few years ago at ACL, and they look. They look crazy too. They look like pe they look like they eat people. They, oh, yeah, they look like they came out of Mad Max. They yeah, they could look some some road warrior shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, never to go to South Africa. I know, I know. <laughs> the white people look like that. Yeah, you yeah. hell no. <laughs> you needed that to tell you not to go. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I really did. I know. Yeah. That just seals the seals the deal for me, boy. No wonder that shit was so horrific. But black people there, white shit, people like yeah, that. No it's like shit. It's like thirty days of night, end <laughs> no. day there. <laughs> oh, you're black, eh? <laughs> 
<laughs> me no. Hey, come here, Blackie. <laughs> I'm just tan, man. Drop his ass off and can come. walk in any hood. He can walk in any hood, <laughs> and, and, and he wants own. to. That motherfucker got a pass. What? Drop his ass Hell off and yeah, come. Everybody gonna leave him the fuck alone. Everybody thinks black people are intimidating. Looking, <laughs> put that motherfucker in front of a cop and see what happens. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll suck your soul. Oh, man. <laughs> and they just ran all the fucking black people out of Af- out of South Africa in Pretty movies, much. man. I, I even think I saw a fucking uh, Mexican oh, in the movie Africa. somewhere. I didn't see black skin in this fucking trailer. In here at all. Hell, they got Indians. Indian, in yeah. Yeah. Mexicans? In here. That dude's a Mexican in the background. And you see that dude in the background? <laughs> got that damn low got rider the cholo shit. Yeah. Yeah. It, What it is, it's taking me back to all the movies that I loved yeah. in the 80s, man. Yeah, it's, that's like, what it reminds like me of. E- it's, I, I know it's going to take you back to when you cried at E.T. I've never seen the end of E.T. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. is dead as far as I'm concerned. My mother took me out the theater because I was freaking out. <laughs> Took that motherfucker in the pasture and just put oh, a bullet in his Put in my head. <laughs> He's okay. See, E.T., where? Where? Bam! That's what I'm afraid yeah, of, man. When the government is coming in and shooting fire at him and, and being mean and shooting I felt at bad him. for him just looking at this. Yeah, and that's what the movie's going to be about. The message here is not as heavy as the leasing, but I get the message here is about, and it's a big... Big, it's a big issue right now, more than you think. Uh, artificial intelligence. Oh yeah, everybody's talking about it. You got you got people like Elon Musk from uh, whom has the electric cars and shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, what's that? Shit? What's that car called? Tesla. The, the Tesla. Yeah. yeah, he's like he's like. Look, I ain't even a scientist, but leave that shit alone. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you got scientists who are saying, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't even dabble. Yeah, don't even yeah. dabble with. Them. Man, you got scientists out there talking about. Look, man, you, you, that, that Terminator shit that could happen. Yeah. Man, don't do <laughs> yeah. that. Well, on one hand you have the Terminator. On the other hand, you have her. So it can it can work out positively. And in the middle you got Chappy. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> but you have it looks like uh it looks like the character like a uh, uh, a Wolverine, Hugh yeah. Jackman, like yeah. he might be the potential villain in the movie. Right, like he is. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I I like that they had that message in there about the possible well all the phobia and possible dangers of artificial intelligence. And I, I feel like that Hugh Jackman character, if he's a villain, he's going to be that villain we kind of understand where he's coming from. Like, yeah. he, he has a reason yeah. for feeling like he does, you know, yeah. but, but, you I know. I like villains like that. Like, though. you don't, like, you, you get it. Like, you may, man, you ain't got to go that hard, you know, yeah. but, but yeah. I, I, I get it. <laughs> I get what you're coming from, yeah. I get where you're coming from. But I'm looking at this, man, and I'm looking at Chappie, and I'm thinking Chappie is going to make me cry because I think Chappie's going to be that character. He's going to be E.T. Yeah. yeah he he's going to be Gizmo. Yep. Yep. You know, he's going he's gonna to be Chunk from the Goonies. Yep. I'll even put in Henry, Harry and the Hendersons in there. I even go nineties. Oh, I'll let, let him be. Harry got me. Harry, man, Harry, <laughs> Harry and Hendersons. You, you know, yeah, Harry I'll made even, me cry. Man, I'll even go as far and I'll, I'll, I'll give him uh, the good Terminator from Terminator Two. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumb the, thumb oh, the, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> all those movies, oh. what they got in common? All those movies made me fucking cry. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be a bitch for Chappie, man. I'm letting you know right now. That's just how it's gonna be. March 6, twenty fifteen. Prepare for the bitch to come out. <laughs> And y'all know ahead of time.